Hey, this is Jay bringing you some hardcore kill confirmed on raid. Get a nice little VSAT dog swarm in this video, and then the other team ends up rage quitting. Seems like it happens all the time when you're doing good, the other team just backs out. But hey, don't want to talk about this at all. Instead, I wanted to share the news with you. I'm sure you've already heard, but LeBron James is coming back to Cleveland. Now, oh man, I just had made a video calling LeBron James the cruelest man in the world, and I did that because, you know, for Ohioans, we don't have much to cheer for or much to hope for when it comes to professional teams. You know, back when we had LeBron here, you know, he was kind of like our hope for an NBA championship, our hope for something to cheer for. And then he ends up going and leaving, you know, and we the way we learned about it is just kind of rough and hard to swallow. It felt like we were just kind of sucker punched when he did all of that. You know, fast forward a couple of years then, and then just recently we started hearing this rumor that he might be coming back. Well, I for one thought, that there was about a 0% chance that he might be returning. And so my whole theory was LeBron James is the cruelest man in the world because he's giving us hope and he's not going to end up coming back. Well, I am eating my words, eating every last one of them. I was talking to Kingdom Soldier yesterday and he asked me, what is the attitude in Ohio about the possibility of LeBron James coming back? And I said, you know, he's like, is it good or bad? And I told him we would accept him back like the product son with open arms we'd put a new robe on him we'd put the golden ring on him we would um, you know kill the fattened calf and throw a party and that's at least how I would feel you know I am really looking forward to getting this guy back it's kind of like when I lived in Chicago I got to grow up seeing the Chicago Bulls go from a team that wasn't making the playoffs to all of a sudden they pick up this player, you might have heard of him, named Michael Jordan, and all of a sudden they're making the playoffs. Then, you know, in a couple years, all of a sudden they're advancing further into the playoffs, and then before you know it, they have six NBA championships under their belt. You know, that is my hope when it comes to LeBron James. And let me say this, all right, Cleveland. Let's go. Let's not sit on this. Let's not rely on LeBron James to win a championship. Let's build a team. Let's build a team that can bring it home. Let's get some other all-star players on there or supporting role players. You know, let's do what it takes to bring this championship home. You know, Cleveland needs this. Ohio needs this. We've been, you know, hammered when it comes to sports. You know, think about what happened with the Cleveland Browns when they left and all of a sudden they win an NFL championship. Think about the tribe getting so close and not doing it. You know, to not get a ring is not an option, in my opinion. You know, we need to do what it takes. And if you don't, if you don't support that, uh, if you don't get that cast together, oh man, I think you're going to have a lot of disappointed things. But let me know what you guys think. Man, LeBron James, welcome home. You know, um, I don't like the way that you left the first time and how we learned about your leaving. But I think it's a class act to come back and to read why you're coming back. Man, I just have a whole new respect for you, and I hope it's not just words. So looking forward to this. Man, I need to go buy some Cleveland Cavaliers tickets. But guys, as always, take care, and God bless.